Good morning, everybody. I'm just going to have a swig of tea. Mmm. I love a good Yorkshire tea in the morning. Um, okay, so it's Friday. It's episode 801. And today we are building up for an anticipation of tomorrow. Yes, I said anticipation. So tomorrow's book review is a book called Call Me Ted by Ted Turner. I loved this book. It was massive and I read it over three days, I think it was. It was brilliant. Anyway, we'll get on to that tomorrow. Um, I want to give you a message that he said that I completely agree with in in, in the book. And um, yeah, I want to share it with you today. It's Thoughtful Fridays and it takes some, gives you something to think about over the weekend. Right, Ted Turner says, set your goals so high you can't possibly achieve them. That's what he said to his dad. Uh, that's what his dad said to him because his dad, unfortunately, actually killed himself. And he killed himself because he set his financial goals and then he hit him and then he didn't know what to do. And he was like, oh, and then um, and then he just killed himself because he was he, he was depressed. He was it, it didn't he didn't have a purpose anymore. And so Ted Turner says, set your goals so high you can't possibly achieve them. I love that. With uh, four years for, was it six six years ago? Um, I practically lost everything with Lazar, and it was a horrible time. I absolutely hated every single second of it. But looking back now, by the way, it was the best experience of my life, and I would never give it up for any any money whatsoever. Um, and I remember writing out my goals, what I wanted. So I wanted a, a black VW van. I got a black VW van, and then um, my biggest one. And I, there's stuff in there with. Uh, like relationship with my wife, relationship with my kids, et cetera. So it wasn't all monetary goals, but it was it was my goal. So we're just talking about the monetary ones here. And my monetary goal was I described my perfect house. I described what I wanted with a house. And th this is the house I live in now. It so this this house surpasses any of my goals whatsoever. Anything I could have ever dreamed. It's got a, a two bed annex that I turned into a man cave. I mean, it's 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 like a pub. It's awesome. I've got a 3G football pitch at the back. You know, I'm just I'm so so bloody lucky. Massive back garden I wanted, and I'm not saying this. Please don't say anything. I'm saying this to brag at all. Well, I probably am. No, I'm really not. Um, but then I. When I achieved my goals, I thought that I'd be happy. I genuinely thought when I come in here, I thought I'd be really happy. But it's it's so empty. Honestly, it's it's such an empty feeling is coming into, is this coming into your dream? And, and then because I'm thinking, okay, what do I do now? And I've never, ever not been motivated, hence the podcast Motivated Entrepreneurs. But for three days, maybe a week, I don't know, I was, I was down, really, really down. And it sounds pathetic. It sounds first world problems. And of course it is. But it sounds absolutely pathetic. The fact that I was down because I've hit my goals and achieved my goals before my 40th birthday. And I was like, right, what do I do now then? Brilliant. But my problem is I didn't set my goals high enough. And so now I absolutely agree with Ted Turner. You have to set your goals so high you can't possibly achieve them. And I'm a big, big believer in having a goal book. I, I currently, do you know what? I don't have a goal book, but I did have I'm a massive believe in it because everything I wrote down, by the way, when when I was in trouble, when I was when I was when I practically lost everything, everything I wrote, everything I wrote down come true. I can't think of anything in that book that didn't come true. And I read it before I went to bed and I read it when I got up and I let my subconscious do the rest. And I don't mean that woo 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 took, took place and I sent it to the universe and I got it. I do believe there's an aspect of that, but I believe that you have to set intentions yourself and you have to take action. But also subconsciously, your brain knows that you want this. And so then it will be looking out for opportunities where it wouldn't have been looking out for before. It's like when you buy a new car, so you buy an Audi A5 and all of a sudden you see Audi A5s. It's not that there's more Audi A5s on the road. It's subconsciously behind, behind your brain is behind the, the your conscious brain. It's looking out for an A5 now. It's looking out for that car more than it would be. So it's more aware. And that's exactly what happens when you set your goals intentionally. Then you are more aware of opportunities and you will, you, you, you'll consider it luck or whatever. But no, it's your subconscious brain working in the background, actually finding these opportunities for you and making sure that you're alert to them, just like you're alert to finding that new car. So please write down your goals. This is, I, I want to do it, but then I'm looking and I'm thinking, wow, yeah, I also, I also feel a bit greedy as well because I feel like I've, I've, I've got quite a lot, and to write down more what I want, it, I don't know, I don't know if it feels right. But if you haven't got what you want yet, 
then write down your goals. But please, please, please make your goals so big you can't achieve them. Because if you, if you do achieve them, then there is an emptiness there. And that's exactly what Ted Turner said. And he said that it is, his dad was just empty after he, after he hit his goals. And so therefore he set his goals so high that there's no chance he's going he's gonna to get there. And this guy's a billionaire. So if he can do it, then we can do it as well. I mean, I, I think I've, I've said on the podcast before that I want to buy a whole city. And that's, that's a goal that isn't ridiculously high. I should set even higher, buy a Man City or something, because buying Hull City, what do we need? 40 million pounds, something like that? That's definitely achievable. So I need to set the goals so high you can't possibly achieve them. Anyway, that was a Friday's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you. I appreciate you. And I will see you on Saturday when we go through this book review. See you soon.